Hi, Monday lunchtime now, that's half past 12 in the UK. Had a great weekend, went to Brighton with a friend who lives that way down the south coast of the UK to watch America play Samoa in the World Rugby Cup. And what a fantastic afternoon we had. Oh, wonderful. The atmosphere was electric and um, we were non-partisan, of course, we were just fortunate enough to get some free tickets. And we went by train from Bexhill and uh, it was, that was lovely, been with hundreds of fans and all going to the same place, rugby fans mostly, being so far away from the US and Samoa. But a great, a great, a great afternoon, great fun, great atmosphere. So, at least I can say I've been at least to one World Cup rugby game in my life. Right, I'm going to work the paper all over. Travelling back this morning to London, to South London, along the A22. Those many of you would be familiar with the A22 if you live in the, in the South East. It's the main road to Eastbourne, the South Coast, and we just peel off near the end of it to go to Bexhill through lovely, lovely countryside through the Ashdown Forest, which is more moorland now, more moorland. Uh, right, it's funny, but a bit of cloth. I, I'm not really sure what I'm going to make up. I'm, I'm going to make one up. And I apologise to all, all my fans, well, ex-fans, who are fed up with me not showing the painting but leaving the camera zoomed in on the palette. Not much danger of that with the watercolour because I'm not going to change the angle. So there's my palette. Lemon yellow, raw sienna, alizarin crimson, light red, ultramarine, burnt umber, Payne's grey and burnt sienna. Fabriana, 130 pounds paper. Uh, there's always a, 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 a challenge where, as to whether to publish something which has gone so badly wrong where so much of the video wasn't shown with me actually painting, or to just scrap it, but the thought was too good to, to scrap. So, many apologies, again. Right, I'll, uh, I'll wet the, the, I've wet the paper, I'm going to put in some warming raw sienna, put a mountain scene with the water, something, something I like to do. We've had a good go on the acrylics the last couple of weeks, haven't we, so. I put in a bit of bit of um, bit of Payne's grey, bit of ultramarine, bit of alizarin. Not a lot of water on the palette. Okay, so let's just. Right, okay, let's get that out there. And I'll put an extra cloud in on the top just to give a bit of shadow. Okay, then we can put in some, a bit of a little, well, a bit of a lizard in that sun, but just a bit of, bit of a lizard in there underneath here. Just warm it up. Right, okay. Uh, I'll re-clip the paper because that's growing now. It's all very simple, simple stuff. I know I've done a lot of it, but uh, it's only practice, isn't it? Not talent or anything like that. It's just, just doing a lot of it. And I'm going to get a bit of a dry now. So take your headphones off. Or turn your volume down. Oh, turn it on. Just, just to fix it, not, not to dry it completely. So I'll we'll put in a bit of uh, bit of distance. So let's got a bit of bit of blue, same colours. A bit, bit, bit warm, bit of warm. Put 
set that blue further over. Add some warmer colours into that. Okay, so let's connect that up a bit. And we'll put in some nice darks in here. Okay, in the shadow. Just, just making this up. No, no, nothing planned here. Just, just working my way back into the, into the way of doing things after a nice weekend of doing nothing but enjoyment. Okay, and we're going over here. With some good good darks, trees, stuff on there. Put the beach in there. Just making this up on the hoof. Coming some light beach colour. Right, okay, that's got a bit, bit of right there. We'll leave that to dry, I might go over that. Right, it's a bit more colour in, in here. When, when the paper's wet with paint, if you want it to register, you've got to go in for really thick, strong paint. There. I might put some trees over, over a lot of it, well, not over that, of course. With, uh, my, my new sable, which, uh, Hasn't had much, much use. Right, let's come across here now. Nice marshy sort of ground. I'm rushing it now because I'm getting hungry. now well, warm. just waiting for this to dry off then before I go over it a bit more Just paints grey and burnt sienna all the way across there. Nice. Let's just take a bit of reflections down in there. Don't want to do too much on, on that white there because that could be sort of wind ruffled. It's not showing a great reflection. This is where you'll see the reflection on the. Uh, In the, in the foreground. Uh, let's just take it down there. Okay, this is just sort of boggy, marshy stuff. Some dark in there, we can put some rocks and stuff. a bit of rich paint on there. Just put it tight. You don't need to stretch your paper first. 
but you can. Right, let's just right, the card. Don't want to lose for a while. It's still wet. It's very, it's very damp. It's been raining quite a bit. They've had a beautiful day yesterday. Really lovely and warm. <coughs> and very fortunate to have been right at the top of the stadium, under, in the shade, which was very nice because not very much hair on my head. I forgot to take my baseball cap and probably got sunburned rather badly. So it was just. some bit of foliage in, in there. See how, how easy it is? I know it's probably monotonous, but just have a bit of bit of fun with it. Right now here I'm gonna I think I'm gonna put in some some nice Let's go back onto this other side here yeah, and just, just put in a bit of detail. Something. Right. I don't know if I can remedy that, I'll try. If I put a bit of detail up there, I can disguise that hard edge I'm going to get there, so I'll just take your headphones off. Right, now I'm going to put some some trees, some bluey trees, a bit of blue, a bit of sienna, burnt sienna that is. No too too wet. So I just just coming up there. Under the sky down there. And we can warm some of that up and do a little bit, bit in here. Right, oh, just trying to give a bit of a balance. I need some dark, dark in there. 
a bit of counter change there. Yeah. Okay, not much I want to do with that now. I'll just use do a bit of wriggle work, just a little bit. There we go. Just add a little bit of detail there for the foregrounds, just a bit dark green. The paint's grey, burnt sienna and a bit of bit of lemon yellow. Just give it that greeny bit. This is where we make the, uh, the reflections. Down. What you put above, take paint below. So it'll cry out and say, Oh, this is a reflection. No more detail than that. Uh, I just want to dry this here, so hold on. Now I don't like that um, crooked edge there, so I'm going to take lift that out. So a bit of tissue, tissue, uh, a nice the slip bristle brush, the acrylic brush, the inch. So I'll just soften that there. Okay, just a bit. So there we are. Now I can, I've got a bit of white gouache here somewhere. Uh, there is. So I'm just going to just put a little bit of detail, a couple of little yachts, something. And Just a little bit on the on the horizon there, just a little bit of a bit of detail. Okay, so I'll give it a signature and then I'll call that done and we'll see what it's like. Always always sign your work, however good or bad it is, because what you don't like, somebody else will. Good that they know who did it. Right, we'll put the broom out on it. Right, there we are, a little, uh, little uh, mountain scene. Very simple. I don't, I'm not, I don't really like that bit there, but it's done now. So, uh, quite like this. It's lovely, nice warm colours. The greens are completely understated. I've kept it on the warm and the blue, the warm and the cool colour. I hope you enjoyed that. It's just a just a little doodle after the weekend. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.